All right. Uh, take it easy, kid. Okay. Uh, so I just finished doing the oral exam, and apparently she has multiple cavities. She has cavities. Yeah, and that could be because she doesn't brush her teeth at home, doesn't floss. And... We we brush our teeth. We brush and floss. Oh, you brush her teeth? Well, she does it, but I know she does it. Oh, you stand there and watch yes. it the whole time? I know she brushes and flosses, and we use mouthwash. Okay, mm -hmm. and you're washing it as she does it? Yes. Oh, that's your mm -hmm. parent, huh? It's God's honor. Oh, good. Anyways, uh, so what we're going to do today is we're just going to apply a little bit of flor fluoride varnish. You're going to put do what? Let's fluoride varnish. You're not going to put that poison in her mouth. Uh, it's not poison, ma'am. It's actually in the water as well. Well, if it's in the water and it's not doing anything for her teeth, what is putting it on here going to do? It's going to help a lot more here than... Uh, yeah, don't worry. It's not going to hurt. Uh, what will hurt is the cavities if you just keep going like that. Uh, Are you sure it's for you examined? Because I don't think she has cavities. We clean her teeth. Uh, well, I did it right in front of you, didn't I? The, or her teeth had the cavities. Oh, you clearly Connie is just blasting up there. <laughs> Anyways, so what do you want me to do? I don't think she has the cavities. Okay. We clean her teeth. Mm -hmm. Well, this is something that I do every day. This is my expertise. I know how to do it. And I've done it on so many other kids before. So I don't really know what you expect from me here. I think we're going to go somewhere else because she cleans her teeth. And let me, let me say this. Why don't you do it on her while I sit here and watch and I can learn from you. How's that? No, that's okay. I think we'll go somewhere else. You want to go somewhere else? Yes. Sure. I'll show you the way out, okay? Get that camera out of my face. I mean, it's better when the dad comes in because he usually doesn't care, you know? He's just sitting there on his phone doing something, but the moms, they want to be, oh, my kid does that, my kid does that. No, your kid doesn't. I have kids too. I know. God damn. I mean, it's just, you know, I'm starting to lose hair over here, over here, it's starting empty in the back. That's why we're shooting from the front now. I mean, it's just tough. It's just a tough business to try to, you know, make it. So learn from this, kids. Come to the dentist with your dad if you want to have a good experience, and then the dentist will be nicer to you when he's doing a procedure. He was listening to music. What was he listening to? How professional is that? Let's listen to music while we're talking about our kid's exam. She has cavities. What is he talking about? Is he listening to something called cavities? What is he? He isn't. I brush my kid's teeth. I know she does not have cavities. I don't have cavities. Right, Mom? Hi. Hi. I'm you Dr. Majidi. Hello. Nice meeting you again. So, after doing the oral examination, uh, she has good overall health, yes. uh, nothing really major as of right now, uh -huh. but I also noticed a few cavities. She has cavities? Yeah, she no, does. And that, that could be because of not brushing the teeth well, not flossing, well, or we, even diet. We brush, we brush and floss. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. uh, so you with her when she does it or? No, but I know she does it. Okay, and you're comfortable with doing it mm -hmm. yourself? Brush this way, you know, just like that. Okay. Oxides and everything. Great, great. So, uh, what we're going to do today, the next step, will be just to apply a fluoride varnish. Fluoride? You're going to put fluoride on our teeth? Yeah. Fluoride, you have it in water, uh, the tap water that you drink at home. Well, I don't want you to put that poison on our teeth. It, it's not poison because you, you use it as, for cooking as well. So, so it's it's not poison at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna give you these and and you can read a little bit more about it. About the fluoride. Yeah, about the fluoride and cavities. You want to take care of it right now because you don't want it to just leave it. It could be way more severe if you just leave it. So they'll get worse if we don't do something about yeah. it. Yeah. So what I'm gonna. Ha do now. I'm gonna go get a dental hygienist, and she's gonna go over the, the material in here with you, and just explain a little bit more, and uh, make sure she does everything correct. Okay. All right. Okay. Does that sound good? Mhm. Mm All right. And you will get a toothbrush and a sticker. Nice. Can I get a, uh, Can I get a pink one? Pink one? Yeah. Yeah. I'll I'll let them know. Okay. Thank you. All right. Any other questions before I go? Nope. I'll read this on fluoride. All right. Okay. Bye bye. Perfect. Bye. Bye, Mom. Look. Well, you know, today I just had a tough patient. 
we encounter them on a daily basis. It's nothing, uh, nothing bad. It's, it's understandable that parents are concerned about their kids. And I was happy she asked the questions and uh, I, I was even more happy that I could answer them. And she seemed happy when I left the room. And honestly, I have a superb dental hygienist that will just come in and explain it to her, make her understand a little bit more about the procedures that we do or that we are gonna do and how we're gonna take care of those cavities for her. Hopefully she will return. That's, that's how you build a big patient pool, by being a happy and good dentist. So I guess I learned something today. I guess her cavities will get worse if we don't fill them. So he's a good, he explained it well. And I understand that if we don't take care of them, they'll get worse. So he did, he did a good job. And he made the kid happy and gave her a sticker and she's excited to go back to get her cavities filled. I like the dentist after he gave me a sticker. When he took the sticker away, not so much. But when he gave it back, yeah, I liked him then. The legend of the phoenix. So what do we do now? Say something cool. I mean, I don't even know what the f she was talking about. You know, I've done this my whole life, and then not my whole life, two, three years, but you know, she's just f yapping and yapping and nagging. Oof, poor kid, go home to that every day. Oof, poor husband. He maybe. I mean, I don't even know what the f to say about this. <laughs> Do whatever you want, just keep going. How long is it going? He's just laughing at you. Yeah. She's a fun night to the sun. I have a superb dental hygienist. Yeah, you know me, I run this corner. I was like, how long ago I try to teach these kids how to do stuff. How are you? How are you? How's it going? You should have had your white coat, I just realized. We, I don't need to wear a white coat. It's too good for a white coat. I worked out. I mean, it was hard because my favorite song just came out. Usually, you know, I just listen to that before I consult the patient. You know, we listen to that Jay Z music, you know, Kanye music, ZS Baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. I messed that up. I'm sorry. Just, just keep going. Just, yeah, just start. You know, we listen to that. Who? Yeah, we listen to the, you know Jay Z, you know Kanye, Weezy F Baby, you know all the <laughs> gangsta music, you know, because they're talking about money, you know, and we want to make that paper. So we're just trying to make you know a lot of that paper. So yeah, that's that's what we did. We don't listen to that soft music, you know, like Justin Timberlake. Uh, Justin Bieber, none of that stuff. Just like straight up gangster, you know, Tupac, Biggie, you know. Yeah, that's what we do. That's how it's supposed to be done. Like to get lucky. We're up on 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 like to get lucky.